Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Right off the top, let me tell you I am so grateful for all of your comments and likes and subscribes and all the engagement that you give this channel. I'm already seeing this incredible community forming around the channel in the comments, helping each other out, expressing opinions and uh, and making this channel a better place. So I appreciate that. If this is your first time here, please click that subscribe button down there somewhere, wherever it is, um, because that will tell YouTube that you like this stuff and you wanna see more. So a lot of you have asked me about the System76 Thaleo, and the Thaleo is something kind of special. It is a step towards an open hardware movement where they have a, a daughter board that among other things controls the cooling of the system. And that is completely open source. The design is available. People can tweak it, make their own. And the same goes for the chassis, which is this gorgeous um, metal and wooden chassis that just looks very organic and like it's coming straight out of nature because it, it really is. And the chassis is open source. Uh, if people are so inclined and have the, the right materials and the right hardware, they can produce their own. They can modify it, uh, whatever they want. Anyway, uh, you can read more about the Thaleo by following the link down there in the description. There are basically three different tiers. There's the Thaleo, the Thaleo Major, and the Thaleo Massive. The Thaleo that I have is not an extravagant one. It's, it's actually much closer to their baseline. So it's basically the system. It's uh, a 250 gigabyte Samsung NVMe. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 3400G, which is what you might know as an APU, right? It has integrated graphics and there's no dedicated graphics card with the system. So I wanted to see and a lot of you asked for this, what can this thing handle for gaming, right? What can an integrated graphics solution provide for gaming? Can it even do 1080p? Can you play on low, medium, high? What's that look like? So let's fire up Dirt Rally very quickly and let me just spend a few seconds showing you the performance that you can get. And granted, this is a, you know, this game's a few years old. That's fair. But it's also graphically demanding and we're going to be running at 1080p on medium graphics quality, all happening off of 16 gigabytes of RAM and a Ryzen 3400G APU. So not bad so far. We're getting I don't know, on average 45, 50 frames per second. Sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower. And the CPU is definitely getting a workout, but it's certainly not pegged. So pretty decent graphics performance for an integrated GPU, right? But let me go ahead and pause this real quick because there's something I'm not telling you. For starters, I'm also streaming one of my videos on YouTube in Firefox. And I'm also recording the audio for this in Audacity. And I'm running OpenSUSE Leap 15.1 in GNOME boxes. So let's go back to the game. As you'll see, you're getting about the same frame rate. There was no trickery involved. That's why I wanted to kind of reveal all the other stuff that was happening on the system and then jump back into the Dirt Rally benchmark. Now, the most astounding thing to me is that while all of this is happening, the Thaleo itself is so quiet. I, I really, I want to just put the microphone there and do, a, and do a sound test, but honestly, you won't really hear anything. It's a barely perceptible 
whisper when the system is under this much load. And when it's not under this much load, it's super quiet. So all in all, I have to say that uh, I'm extremely impressed so far with how even one of the baseline Thaleos can handle quite a workload. So I hope you enjoyed that short little glimpse at uh, gaming and multitasking with a baseline System76 Thaleo. Now the, the Ryzen 5 3400G that's inside of mine retails for about $150. So if you're just doing some light gaming at 1080p, whether that's uh, indie games or some older AAA, more graphically demanding titles, then I think you're gonna be all set. But to make sure, I've got a ton of titles downloading on Steam right now, and I'm gonna benchmark many more than what you saw in this video. And I'm also gonna see just how far I can push this thing. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and uh, leave a comment because both of those things show other people that this is a video worth watching. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, take care and take care of each other and say bye to Chi Chi.